sometimes the starting place for our students um, was just feeling the need to create community, a, a faith community, to create community in places that might witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ in this time and in this place. And it might end up taking the form of a church or it might be church adjacent or it might be some kind of other nonprofit kind of organization. We are in a time of massive cultural and social change. And so in order for the church to witness to the gospel um, in this time and in this place with all these kinds of changes. Um, we need to be flexible, we need to be open to the new thing that God is doing, um, and we need to be willing to take risks. And so adaptive and innovative seems to capture uh, the kinds of posture and, and postures and practices that are required if you're going to start a new church, but are also required if you're just wanting, feeling called to start a community or to form a ministry in response to a need you see in your, in your neighborhood. Future for the people of God um, is among, already among the people of God and among the people that God is calling us to. You know, so as congregations are trying to imagine what innovation looks like or what uh, revitalization looks like, they, you know, they can't figure that out only by looking inward. They need to look outward and um, draw from and learn from the wisdom and the gifts and the history of the neighborhood and where they're located. Learning how to build collaborative partnerships, learning how to listen um, well to others, um, learning how and, and then to exercise discernment in relationship to what we hear is a key part of, I think, any revitalization strategy.